The solo action for the crossover heel hook basically goes like this. I have my defense, my counter, and then this leg picks up high around. And notice that when I set down, my upper body comes forward. Parry, bang, leg goes wrap around, and then steps down. And you see how my weight comes forward on this. Parry, hit, wrap around, set down. This will all make sense when you see me apply it with my partner. All right, this next one, please practice with care because the way you set up the body, it produces a very nasty fall done at high speed. And this is what I call the crossover heel hook. Now, she throws the rear punch and again, Notice the extension. She's not going at me, she's going through me. From this point, this is where the leg wraps over and as opposed to attempting to hook her backwards, I'm actually going to wrap over and set down. As I set down, my weight comes in against the shoulders and because of the twist position, this makes this a very, very ugly fall. At this point, I usually let the person kind of roll backwards out of it, put their hand down, etc. Just for a safety point. But she comes in, she strikes, bang, and there it is. It goes down. Watch this again, and I'll do it from a slightly different angle so you can see it just a little bit better. But she strikes, I've got my strike. I come in. As I come in, I'm not doing the upper body push yet. I do the upper body push, maybe she recovers. And now we're back to the grappling, we're doing punching each other, whatever. So I'm here, as I guide, I let my upper body come in and I wrap. As I come down is when I start playing bumper bodies on her. And because this thigh is blocked, if I keep the push on her body towards this direction, She's in this twisted position as she falls. Nasty fall. But I ease up. On this, you notice I let her go backwards. Now, here's an ever so slightly different angle of this. She throws the punch in here and comes across. Toes touch first. Heel comes down, body comes forward. Bang. Person goes down in that fashion, you see. She throws the punch, and notice my body doesn't connect up too soon. I come in, my body is straight up and down. I've got the wrap. Now watch, leg goes down. You see here's how her shoulders start going this way. That's because as I put down, I'm going to let my body weight come down so that what I've got, and I'm going to let her step away from this. Notice how I have my weight even, 50-50. Big mistake is where people try and do this, keep backwards like a cat stance and attempt to push the person. Actually, weight coming down, going 50-50 in terms of weight distribution, does that on their body. Watch this again. She throws the punch, I'm in, and I put my body down. Now, I'm stepping away. You see where her body is. I'm straight up and down, bang, the person goes down. This is a very nasty throw. Practice it with care. Break their structure. You'll find it works really, really nice for you.